Hi, Cardamama here, and I'm going to show you today how to create a postage stamp shape using Silhouette Studio. So let's get started. So on a new 12 by 12 page, I'm going to turn on my grid line settings. So click on Show Grid, Snap to Grid, and my spacing is set at 1 inch, divisions 8, and I'm going to draw a rectangle using my rectangle tool, and it's going to be 3.5 inches by 4 and a quarter. So four and a quarter and three and a half. And because I have my grid line set to snap to grid line, it's really easy to draw my shape without having to uh, actually type in any shape sizes. So the next shape I'll draw is a circle using the circle tool and it's going to be exactly half an inch. And I'm going to center that three eighths of an inch in at the top so I can see from my grid line settings, that's three spaces, and I center the circle right on the line at the top. So I'm going to copy and paste three more, do the same thing at the, at the top of that same line, and I'm going to space them a quarter inch each, so two spaces, so two eighths, which is a quarter. So now I can copy this, paste it, drag it to the bottom, and I've just duplicated it down there. I'm going to paste again and rotate by 90 degrees. Drag this over, make sure that it is those 3 eighths of an inch down. And I'm just going to copy and paste one more. And they're all in between each, a quarter inch and then 3 eighths on all sides, on all the corners. So copy, paste, and replicate on the other side. Now I can turn off my grid line settings and I'm going to start from the inside and I'm going to select all of my circles without selecting the outside rectangle. Right click make compound path. So now you can see my circles are a separate shape and I'm going to select both the rectangle and the circles and then on my modify, I will click subtract and there I have my postage stamp shape. So what you can do is play around with the measurements and if you don't like this kind of rectangular shape, if you want a, or a square postage stamp, if you want your circles to be smaller, if you want the spacing to be different, you can certainly play around with it. But this is the basic on how to create that postage stamp shape and it's great for adding as kind of background panels or labels on cards or in scrapbooking. All right, so if you have any questions about this tutorial, leave me a message below and I'll be sure to uh, get back to you with any answers I can. Thank you so much.